Hello everyone. So if you watched the most recent video for this area, uh, I showed all the different beaver areas and also showed the culvert pipe. And one of the things about the culvert pipe is that right now on the other side, there's a huge beaver dam. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna try to take it apart, but we're just gonna go in here and take a peek into the culvert pipe. <laughs> and this is really weird. But I guess we'll get in here. Can't even see me. So wow, this is very very sketchy. So I'm basically squatting inside this thing. And this is extremely uncomfortable. But if you look at where the rust is, you can see how high the water line used to be. Well, I couldn't get in from that side, so we'll go in from this one. Now, I wasn't really planning on doing anything today. And so my camera's my phone, so I'm not really decked out in any super cool technological stuff. Man, this is also super risky. I don't know how deep that is. But here's the dam. I can tell it's huge because it's absorbing on the echo. I need to look at that. That's the hole right there. So that's probably about two and a half feet tall. And what I want to do, I want to start cleaning this thing out. So right now I have the tripod. It's stuck in the ground. And I'm just gonna start. Where the rough part is, is that it's such a weird area. I can't put a pipe in there. The pipe. It's even more crazy. There's canary grass growing inside. I like how people used to tell me that the other pipe clogged itself. There's a lot of nice people on the internet. inside this thing and I'm only taking out one side right now weird <laughs> oh man the smell inside this thing isn't pleasant either Let's see I just need to get to at least clear this side but I have no idea how far it goes. Now, I've known about this culvert pipe for a while. Uh, you know, there's a dam in here. I just never, never assumed that the dam is just so huge. I hope I'm not halfway done because I have no time for this. Let's
I just kind of want to show you how much material it pulled out. So that's a lot. I'm not even halfway through, man. You gotta move all this back. That's the only direction I can comfortably go. But now, now I'm just gonna do a little, little unclogging right here. Look at that. all that sludge. Oh, you guys can't really see that. There we go. Hold up. Now this was a really long clogging video. <laughs> Pretty see how far I've dug down. Yeah, sometimes I don't really think it's through. But, let's keep going. Okay. Oh, that thing's branched up right there. Got reinforcement. So the branches, now it's getting a little tricky. Wow. It's not easy if I could just go like that. Just pull it back. That's not the case. Intense workout. Is just dandy. Hear all that gravel in there? Like you guys built a road. And I'm just gonna try and scatter all this out. Or should I just push it? Uh, nah. I need to pull it. I need to pull it on this side. Basically. I mean, right now I can see the other side. It's a big plus. No, let's get it. Oh, there we go. Never make it surprise. Man, look at all those branches. Wow. Who needs rebar? We have branches. Oh man, 
I never cleared my beaver dam while squatting. So this makes it a little, a little more rough. <laughs> If you look at this stuff, this is a lot more twigs, a lot more branches, a lot more everything. As we're getting closer and closer to the front, branches are just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. Wow, we're almost done, almost done. Let's look at them out. The material you put that. I basically built a dam on this other side, which sucks. Wow. Hello. It's almost impossible to see on camera. But we're almost done. I need a fancy light. Whew. I don't know if you guys will see anything. That's fine. Oh, now this is just branches. Oh, the sucks. Got big branches. Oh, the guys are evil, dude. Ah. You know, I think that's right. Oh, I might have to do from the other side. I mean, the sun's almost out. And I only did like a section. I mean, you can see the light a lot better now, the other side. But man, I have to clean all this up too. Wow. But one thing I noticed is this area can drain a lot more. <sighs> so 
So I just cleared out all this. I built myself a little island right here. And, uh, we're so close. Yeah, so far. Let's keep pushing. Those sticks. I'm trying to knock my camera down. It's been a lot easier if the beavers just didn't plug this. Yeah, this part is super tricky now. You guys probably can't see it. But there's just so many branches there. Doing this. Yep. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna push it just a little bit more and I'll give it like five more minutes. But after that,
Dude, there's like, there's like 10 yards of material in here. Ah, oh, man. That's so close. All right, folks, so we pulled out a lot of material. And the problem is, is I only probably pulled out a third of the material that was in here. It's super close. If you kind of look at the wall, you can see how much material was built up. You have that little darker spot. But we're just gonna have to come back because this is, wow, this is crazy. It's getting dark, I don't have time. So we're gonna have to wrap it up for today absolute worst case scenario is is that we did all this we come back next time and whatever is here goes back in there and maybe a little bit of extra but who knows hopefully the beavers don't like it and hopefully they're on vacation somewhere on one of their tropical Malibu islands but yeah that's the conclusion for today's video thank you for watching I appreciate it big like to you big like that's a huge dragonfly uh, yeah, well, thank you for watching. Have a good night. God bless. Bye.